Hey y'all, happy new year. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So we are jumping right in. I already did the brows off camera. Everything I use will be listed below. But if you know me, you know I use benefits. Going in and applying a pencil for the base of the smoky eye. This is actually the Essence Black Pencil. I use Essence a lot in my waterline. So I want to try it on my lid. It turned out okay. I blended it out and you see it's getting kind of sheer so i went in with the inglot 77 and you know if you know you know this stuff is so black it's scary i'd be scared to grab it <laughs> but honestly it's very opaque and it's just what you want in a black liner this is it right here the inglot and then i'm just going to set that with the black shadow from the juvia's place warrior 2 palette i'm packing that in and then i'm actually going to just grab a blending brush to blend out the edges and it's actually a clean brush i didn't apply anything to it i think it's important to just blend out the edges to try to get a nice seamless eye look so we're going to have a lot of blending brushes in this video which you already know that's what comes with doing a fun eye look So I, there I'm just wiping the brush off and then going in and blending it out some more because I don't want the black to go too crazy. But I do want the edges to be blended out while we grab this Juvia's Place the Mauve palette. And I'm taking that shade right there that I just showed. This is a new blending brush. It's the same brush from Morphe, but a clean one. And I'm blending out the edges. So I wanted to do like a really pink look because I'm going to use a really pink blush later on in the video. But I realized that I was wearing all black and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know about that. So I wanted to do like kind of bring the pink or the mauves and the black together. So this is how we got this eye look. Just being inspired from the outfit and the palettes from Juvia's Place. The shimmer shade really worked out putting it on top of the black. And it looked kind of greeny, iridescent -y. Like, it does not look pink at all, but it still worked. Um, I really enjoyed it. And I really thought that it was giving New Year's Eve, because this is actually from my New Year's Eve look. If you don't follow me on Instagram, add me. You can see my full outfit and just see me, girl. Just add me. I feel like it's a disconnect between YouTube and Instagram, but they are different platforms. And I love YouTube. YouTube is near and dear to me. So... If you on here, I appreciate you. But if you could add me on IG, that'd be great. I also have TikTok. It's cheap, that Marie. But yeah, girl, I thought I was filming. I was not. That is the foundation that I'm using. I blended the House Labs and the Yummy Skin. Now, both of those foundations are very, very like close, close to my skin. Mixing those, I get a very perfect match. As you can see, my neck, it really matches. But I am going to cream contour because it's necessary. Because if I did not, I would have flashback. You know what I mean? Because the shade is so perfect. If one of those foundations was a little bit darker, this would be like a perfect match. And I'm not saying it's not perfect, but around the forehead, it just gets a little light. And it just gives a mask feel because the shades are so perfect. And I blended them together. But anyway, I'm going in with the shade tape. Anytime I want to glam a bam bam look. I'm grabbing shade tape. Okay, so this is that new Real Techniques concealer brush that was going viral, but it was like only in the UK. I couldn't find it. Girl, it's available now. I will have a link below. I got it from Ulta, period, $6.99. And I was very excited to try it because you guys know I love the setting brush from Real Techniques that I use to blend out concealer and set my face. This one is interesting, okay? I won't say it's my favorite because it's not. It's not better than the setting brush to me. I do need to use it more. It does keep the foundation, I'm sorry, the concealer in place, but it's giving like a flat foundation brush, okay? And if you used or have tried a flat foundation brush, you know that the flat foundation brush just patting the it's just patting the product in. It's not really blending or doing much. So it's keeping it very full coverage, this brush, just like a flat foundation brush, but 
you're going to have to go in with something to really blend it out or you'll be sitting here blending all day because it kind of blends small areas at one time to me. Very in-depth review on this brush, but people were ratting and raving about it and I think it was a good move for Real Techniques, but child, I'm like, damn, I'm still blending this concealer with this damn brush. I'm ready to put it down. <laughs> but it's cute. It get in the areas, you know, I'm tapping. Your girl was tapped out. I definitely grabbed my um, sponge, which you should see in a minute. But applying this to my nose, I like to do it more precisely now. I like to give a little bit more effort. I used to just use the doe foot to put it on my nose, but girl, it makes it too wide. Now for cream contour, which is my favorite part. This is the Danessa Myrix. Um, I forget what she called this, but I'll have a link below. Very, very nice product. And it's just gonna pull the look together. I think if you don't do anything else, do contour. And if you can do a cream, do a cream. Because if you just put on foundation and a cream contour, you are still going to look like you have a snatched face. You know what I mean? Because you can take powder, your setting powder, which is usually lighter than you, and put it under your eye and on your forehead for a little bit of brightness. Okay? But that cream contour is also what helps with no flashback or without looking like, like you have on a mask. So try out cream contour if you don't. I remember when I used to not do it, I'm like, I just bronze, I just use my bronzer. This makes the world of difference in flash photography. And at this point, we all taking flash photography, okay? Because Instagram, TikTok, and everything else. Here, I'm taking that foundation brush. I didn't add anything to it. I'm just going around the edges and just blending everything together. We want things to be seamless. Now we're gonna add some blush, liquid brush, blush using that same brush that we applied the contour with. This is from Rare Beauty. Um, I forget the name, but nice popping pink. And I really haven't used this a lot. I had to pull it out my drawer because when I moved, everything was packed up. I wanted to play around with it and it was really, really pretty. I mean, you probably already have it, honestly, because Rare Beauty was going crazy viral every time, so. But I'm glad I'm on the trend. <laughs> I'm going to continue to blend and just make things seamless. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bad. Now, I did take some of Danessa Myrick's product and nose contour a bit. I've been nose contouring more and trying and trying to get better at it because I'm not a pro at this part, but it does make a difference in snatching and adding some dimension to that area, especially in flash photography, because if you just have that concealer, it kind of widens your nose and that is not the goal. Never been the goal, <laughs> especially for me because I feel like I kind of have a wide nose already. I mean, it don't bother me, but I'm just saying, we're not adding product on there to make it look wider in the photos. That's not the goal. So just here, blending that out. And you guys, I don't know what happened to the setting video. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm so sorry about that. It's looking nice and flawless. I must say myself. This is that Juvia's Place blush that I talked about, volume six, I believe. But if you watch my previous video, where I talked about upgrading your makeup for 2023, I set my face exactly the same way in that video. I use the exact same products. I use the exact same bronzer, the LYS Beauty bronzer. Everything will be linked below, like I say. And check out that video. A lot of tips in there. Very nice, long video. We can sit and chat. And don't forget to give that video a thumbs up and this video a thumbs up, period. So I'm wiping off the bake here, which the bake is Huda Beauty. 
and that's the setting brush that I just love so, so much. You cannot beat it. And also get into that blush. Like, I'm obsessed with that Juvia's Place blush. It's really pretty and it's so vibrant and loud and bright, but look how good it looks on the skin. Like, I do not look like a clown, which is great. It's just about control. And I use a very bright liquid blush and then that very bright opaque powder blush. It's all about tapping and not putting on too much, you know, just gradually building up. So yeah, I'm taking that same black liner, applying it to my waterline, and then I'm going to blend that out with the pink shade or the mauve shade from the mauve's palette. I had to realize at first I was using like this um, fluffy blending brush and I realized that I needed to use something a little bit more dense and compact to blend out that liner a little bit, smudge it out a bit. So this is where I switched brushes and this is what I'm doing now. And they really pulled the look together. I like this look. I haven't done color in a very long time. Y'all know I throw the bronzer on my lid and call it a zay zay, okay? I did also add lashes off camera. So we know I did my brows off camera, but I'm going to set them on camera with Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, okay? This is one of my favorite products from them. Um, I like to just brush them up, fluff them up a bit put them in place it stays all day and a final set is with the Charlotte Tilbury makeup setting spray this is a really good one when you want a matte finish and you want your foundation and everything to stay in place now moving on to lip this is the BFF3 I'm gonna start using a new liner one day but not today because <laughs> that's my favorite it's always a good base to start with especially if you're my skin complexion it works perfectly I love it obsess obsess but you know I gotta go in with a second one for a little bit more dimension you would know that if you watched my previous video that was one of my tips that I gave the two liner shawties that's how you get that nice bomb crisp lip okay the dimension you can't beat it it looks good if you just use one but two bomb then we went in with this artist couture lipstick which was called highly favored which i thought was the perfect name to be bringing in 2023 and have on a lip called highly favored because period okay so it's very a pretty pink nudie shade and i topped it with this essence gloss essence makes one of the best gloss in the world okay essence is up there with fenty tower uh kaja and everything else for $3.99 don't play with it period and then i forgot to add in my inner corner this is the juvia's place the matte like kind of like a white shade i've been loving the matte in the inner corner applying that and this i think is basically the final look i did have to go ahead and add in some mascara on my bottom lashes but ooh. I love this makeup look. I think it looks so good. I hope you like it too. Add me on IG. This is me giving IG a little bit of something. And I just think this is a great makeup look. I hope you do too. I, you know, it's nice and glam, but I still look like myself. And she is giving everything she needs to give in 2023. Like I said, Happy New Year. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video. Ooh, look at the skin, period.